Hi, come on in, have a seat. Hi, come on in, have a seat. So good morning everyone. When's the last time any of you drew a picture? Last time. <laughs> Today we're here to draw a picture. So what you'll see here are some crayons, colors in each box. Choose your colors wisely because there will be another group coming in after you and making another picture with what you leave behind. So here we have the other group. Everybody say hi. hi! Why don't we show the kids the pictures that we've drawn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Bye. So nice. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you show them what you drew? It's all black. We all took away the bright colors. I wish I wasn't this selfish, taking away all the bright colors. Maybe we could have broken the colors and left yeah. half of them for them and for the next group.
करो और जाओ भूल भला करो और जाओ भूल वो अपना बस यही सूल शूल बिछाए कोई पथ में तो भी बिछाना हमको भूल तो भी बिछाना हमको भूल शुभ संकल्पों के मोती सुख के रचे महल शुभ संकल्पों के मोती सुख के रचे महल खुद को हम बदले इतना जग ये जाए बदल खुद को हम बदले इतना जग ये जाए बदल Shanti, so welcome back and uh, we have this session today by Sister Radhika who will be taking us through this session on solutions for daily life. So there will be simple problems that we all face and Sister will be guiding us through how to analyze it in the right way, use wisdom and apply it so that we find simple solutions to all of our problems, all of our challenges. So, I'd first like to introduce Radhika Ben. Uh, Radhika Ben is currently stationed in Hyderabad. She takes care of the centers in, in and around Panjagutta, that is um, in Hyderabad. Some of you must be in, from Hyderabad too. And uh, she's been practicing meditation since, and is Rajyoga teacher since almost 30 years and dedicated her life to the services of the organization uh, from the past 25 years. Uh, sister is very creative and uh, she's been, I think some of you have, uh, already know that sister has written that book Solutions for Daily Life, that book that you've, uh, it's based on the questions that people have asked and also there's another book Steps to Success and sister also continuously creates concepts for trainings and seminars, programs where uh, be on, based on spiritual wisdom, uh, being a master's in psychology and also having the rich wisdom of spiritual knowledge and continually, continuously experimenting. So, sister has been able to bring benefit to a lot of people, both in India and abroad. She travels extensively. She's the most invited uh, both in India and abroad. A lot of people on an individual level also have taken benefit from her uh, counseling and also her programs. So thank you Radhika Ben for uh, being with us and uh, shall we hear a warm welcome for Radhika Ben from all of you. Thank you so much. Those sitting in the back, if you can join in the front, it will be very nice. Thank you. <coughs> Om Shanti. The topic, um, solutions for daily life, the topic itself does not indicate that you will have problems every day. So you should be looking for solutions every day. That is not the premise of this session. The aim is to understand that at a given time, I should be able to have the right thought at the right time, the right awareness, the right decision, so that I don't look back and regret it. That I have said things which, is, which are appropriate, I have made decisions which have created you know, a path for many others and there has been success. So, it is just not that I will have, I have a problem, so I need to find a solution. But it is more about how prepared am I if there would be a problem in the future. So it is um, that, that kind of an insight where I'm talking to myself, not about the problem, but thinking about how do I manage myself through the problem so that I'm not affected by it. I remember I was um, 
flying from Hyderabad to Mumbai. And I had someone sitting next to me. It is back in 2007. It was the recession period and people are going through hard times. And this gentleman was talking to me and he said, um, Sister, um, I'm going through a very bad phase and I'm a builder and I have these huge complexes that I have made and it is, nobody's buying it. And I've got, uh, I'm, in, I'm in trouble with all the banks. So, so the thing that strikes me is meditation, no? because I'm a meditation teacher. So I asked him, how did you try meditation? Because you must be so stressed. Did you try it? He said, is this the time to meditate, sister? I need to solve all my problems. I need to rectify all that. And then when I get time, I'm surely I'll get in touch with you. He never got in touch with me. And it must have been a year or so, I don't know how many years, but there was this Rotary Club program in some part of Hyderabad. And instantly I recognized him. He was sitting in the audience. They had invited me to speak on something. So after the session, he rushes to me and said, Sister, do you remember me? I said, yes, that flight. We did speak. And he said, uh, I've overcome all my problems. And I'm making new projects in Hyderabad. I said, because of your determination and patience, you've overcome it. And that's wonderful. He said, no. I said, what? I, I thought I said something very positive, isn't it? But he, he didn't really agree with me. He said, sister, no. I have gone through the problem. I have come out successfully. And I, and I thought I've done it well. And then I got a gift. I said, what gift? I had to go to the doctor and I have high blood pressure and I have I'm diabetes suddenly. And I asked them why? And the doctor says stress. There's no other reason but stress. So I thought I was managing, you know, but internally I wasn't. So solutions for daily life is about not putting myself through hardships when there are situations. There, there is a situation out there, but I don't have to go through it and suffer it too. Right? So I remember someone, um, he's, he's having a lot of problems in his uh, company. He's the chairman of a company. And one of our senior sisters, he was, ta she, he was talking to him, she was talking to him and said, Bhai sab, aap chinta ne karo, sab theek ho jayenga. She was just giving a little reassurance, you know, that things will be all right. He looked at her and said, sab to theek hai na didi? Sab theek hai? To newspaper mein to aaya na, itte sare problems hai and all that with your company. He said, problems are there. Yahan khatam ho gaya. It will always be there. Something or other is always there. But to think about it and think about it and think about it, I can become the problem. How about being a solution-oriented person? Let us say, like, you know, there's a problem and there's a conflict with somebody, I might just give an advice. How about going and saying sorry and then forgiving and let it go? It's so easy for me to say, isn't it? Just let go. Forget it. You would say, sister, I know that solution. I've read about it. I know it myself. I know I'm, I'm supposed to forgive. I'm supposed to say it's okay, past is past and all that. I'm not able to do that. To forgive that person itself is a problem for me. So what do I do when people say, look within yourself and change? Because when you look at yourself, there's a solution. When you look out there, it's a problem. But then if I have to look within myself, I'll have to have a wonderful and a very great opinion about myself so that I can do something good. Because we're in this campus, it's a very beautiful campus, and I've had very beautiful experiences here. Back in 96, we had a training and we had, uh, you know, sisters like me and brothers and all who had come from more than 100 countries from all over, from different uh, centers all over the world. And we were here for one month. So I remember at that time, there was this uh, workshop which was going on and we had to discuss. And they were talking about invisible barriers. Invisible barriers are something that you cannot see. 
बाहर से दिखाई पड़ता है प्रॉब्लम पर रियल प्रॉब्लम तो अपने अंदर होता है विच इज नॉट इट्स हिडन एंड वी डोंट नो अबाउट इट सो दे सेट फाइंड आउट योर इंटरनल बैरियर्स वॉट आर दोज हिडन बैरियर्स तो हम डिस्कस कर रहे थे लिटिल सटल लेवल वी नीड टू आस्क आर सेल्स सो दिस वन ऑफ दिस यू नो अ ग्रुप मेंबर्स ही ही वॉज फ्रॉम अफ्रीका फॉर सम वे फ्रॉम नैरो बी और समथिंग ही सेट मुझे लगता है माई प्रॉब्लम इज दैट नो बड़ी लिसन्स टू मी ये मेरा प्रॉब्लम है बहुत बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है कोई सुनता नहीं है घर पे या ऑफिस पे कोई सुनता सब अपना सुनाने वाले हैं तो आई एम वेरी डिस्टर्ब ये प्रॉब्लम है सो द वन हुज फैसिलिटेटिंग आर ग्रुप ही वॉज फ्रॉम ब्राजील तो ही सेड हाउ अबाउट फाइंडिंग योर इंटरनल बैरियर्स एंड एवरीथिंग हाउ अबाउट योर हिडन बैरियर्स ही डेंट लाइक दैट कॉन्वर्जेशन ही सेड नो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट माई प्रॉब्लम एंड यू आर टेलिंग मी टू गो समवे डीपर देन दैट सेड नो यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट so he said i'll take a break and i'm not going to join this group for today so he went i don't know some silence a lot of places here where you can sit in silence and reflect you know to pata nahi wo baithe honge ka silence mein he didn't come the whole day he didn't come the next day morning we saw him walking by and i said why don't you join us what's happening so he said i found out my hidden barrier so share to karo na at least we can pick up from it you know and learn why don't you come and join so he comes in and he says uh, um, i found out my hidden barrier but i i'm feeling i'm not very comfortable sharing it so then i said how about sharing something around it not the same thing but around it something you know but then he thought for a while and he said i'll share it he said i came to know that nobody listens to me because i don't listen to anybody <laughs> that is a hidden barrier so actually i am the problem so the thing is so many times we ignore these internal barriers and we try to solve everything out there so we are fighting the wrong enemy and thak jayenge na because that is not the real problem bar it's about how much time i spend in telling myself that it's not like i am bad so i should change i'm not good i should change no i am good so why shouldn't i you know find different ways to deal with things not the same old ways there's a, a a person who runs a company i know him his son was studying in yale and uh, you know he is is gone to very good universities abroad and so naturally he is very confident and he was coming back to become a director of his company so in many conversations his father noticed that he's becoming um, i wouldn't call it arrogant but overconfident like you know i know everything and i'll i'm going to come and change everything in india you know that kind of a thing so he was little um, you know concerned about it the father so he told me sister he's like you know arrogant and he talks i don't know what not he talks so i said you know we not going to deal with him that he's not the problem how are you going to manage yourself with him is the whole important thing how do i manage him no that is not solu- solution oriented thinking we, we can't manage him how do i manage myself with him yeah what what are the tools do i require what values do i require what kind of quality of thinking th- does it need you know this is i think you need to work on that so he came and they had this board meeting first day to introduce his son this is aditya and he's joining us as a, you know one of the directors of this company now he's well educated and uh, very less experienced but very educated hmm? the very first conversation or rather we addressed the whole of the board members aditya he says i don't believe in experience hmm. i know you've all put in 30 40 years of experience i don't respect experience bring something new to the table and that is when i think you are something mm. or else i i don't respect just because you put in so many years that's very you know it is very what you call as insulting rude you can you can name whatever you want the father was like he knew something like this is going to happen but you know what he did he said that is he didn't say anything there and later on when he was having a conversation with him he said you're very smart 
whatever you spoke there, I need to think about it. Eh? I really need to think about it. Yes, we need something new on the table. And you know what? The one who is going to bring anything new to the table is you. Hmm? So you are going to bring something new to the table and show them what you are. That's about it. Solution-oriented conversation. How did you get the courage to talk to you? Who is the one? Huh? This is how usually a father would say, right? He said, no. I don't want to, he said, I don't want to take that path. I know where it will lead to. Conflict and conflicts and conflict. There's no end to it. Pele se hi samajna. This is called solution for daily life. Aise ni problem aaja hai, me baitke sochu me kya karu? Ning. Why did I create a problem in the first place at all? There was this uh, lady, I know ver her very well, back in Hyderabad. She's, she, you know, usually when she has a problem, she comes to meet me. Not any time, you know, only when a problem is there. So she comes and, and she says, uh, you know, I'm in deep trouble and I have a problem. I said, what happened? She said, it's my niece, Graha Pravesh. You know, she's having a new house in Hyderabad. And she sent up across a card, you know, invitation card to us, to me and my husband. But she sent, didn't send it to her you know, her cousins, you know, like my children. They both are in Bangalore and she didn't send. And so my damad and my bahu, they both are saying, we are not going, we didn't get invitation, hum kaise jayenge? So, the thing is, I told my husband, they didn't get invitation and my husband said, tum bhi nahi jau. Tu kyo, tumara bachon ko nahi mila, tum kaise ja, ja sakti hai, tum nahi jana, but better ho yaan. Tumara family is here, bekar, so he's insulting my family, he's talking so bad about my family and I'm feeling very bad sister and every day I'm listening to this and she's crying, crying, crying. And I thought for a while and then I said, see this is, there is, you know, if you want a solution, you need simple thinking. Complicated thinking se koi kaam nahi banega. You need simple thinking. She's your niece, right? You would have carried her when she was young. You would have fed her also sometimes. Itta to close hongi aapke. Ha hai. Thik hai. Aapko kya karna hai? Phone karo. What is her name? Malini. Call Malini. If she doesn't have manners, teach her. Are cards vaha bhi bejo. Now they are married. Your cousins are married. Send cards. Acha. Thik hai. If she doesn't remember, remind her. Cards bejo. Tu bhool gai kya? Wo dono ko bhi aana hai na? Itta simple kaam hai. Why did you have to go tell your husband? Will he solve the problem? He's creating problem. Isn't it? Simple cheese, eh? Hmm. So why do we dig my own grave and then sit and cry? I have to have that preparation. Ki ye situation mein, mujhe kon si value use karna hai? Because it's all there. The, the whole um, treasure of qualities and virtues are all inside. But I need to have the right choice to pick up what and when and how. That's all. Time nahi denge. That I'm jumping one from one situation, from one relationship to another, and I want quick solutions. Aisa nahi hota hai. Time dena padta hai. Back in Hyderabad, there is a company. And this person is, um, he is not a boss. He's not the super boss, but he's like the team head. So he goes up to his one of his, uh, you know, subordinates and he says, uh, Jaldi jaldi karo, boss ko gussa aenga. So he looked at him and said, Bolne ka tera jo dang hai na, tera change karo. Because they are all of the same age. So that bolne ka dang hai, just change the way you are speaking. So what do you mean? Mai aise kahu ki baitha roho, aram se, aise? Kaam karana hai na, I have to make you do that work. Jaldi jaldi karo. So he said, change the way you say. Then teach me, tell me what, how am I supposed to talk to you, tell me. So that boy says, tell, jildi jildi karo, boss khush ho jayenga. Ye bolo na. Thoda sonch na padta hai. Thoda sonch na padta hai. Bolna to woh hi hai. Kehte, sister, gusse ke bina to kaam nahi hota hi na. You have, you need to have that little patience to use a tool or a technique. Oh, dil se aata hai, bara bara aata hai. 
Hmm. Because the thing is, if you, if you don't have time, you don't give time, your heart doesn't work. Hmm. Your head works too much and your heart gets palpitations only with anxiety. Simple thing, ek step ka ek, sol, ek step me solution ho jata hai. Okay, I want loyalty. Kisi ne kaha me ko? I want loyalty system from my employees. Ek bhi loyal nahi hai, they can leave this job and go to another in a jiffy. They've got a lot of offers out there, they can leave. I want loyalty. And I said, I, you know, I, I don't usually uh, give lectures on topics. I usually give examples of what I have seen. Mm. So I told him, I'll give you an example. There is this um, city called Vishakapatnam in Andhra. And in that city, there is this man who actually did a fellowship and everything in Harvard and everything. And he's working there since 30 years. Their children, they always tell him, Papa, you've been to Harvard, you've been all these places, and you, why are you in this small company here for 30 years? Abroad ka jo opportunities milte wo le lo. So one of their sons, he comes up to me, I was there, he told me, Papa, he spoiled his career by in this, being in this company. So I asked him, why your children are complaining? Why is it that you've chosen to be in this company? I mean, I have no problem with you being in this company. But why are you in it? He said, the first day when I joined the company, there was an orientation program, it's like thing that everybody introduces themselves. The chairman and a few directors had come onto the stage and sab apna apna naam bata hai. there were 40 odd of, you know, who were sitting there. Sub introduction ho gaya. then they talked about their what principles or motto, whatever of the company and then the chairman left after that. And then a month later, um, the chairman was walking down the corridor with uh, his entourage or whatever, the, all the people with him is walking down. And he wanted to say good morning. This man's name is Ravi. So he, he was a young executive in that company then. He just wanted to say uh, hello and good morning to him. So as soon as he passed by, he just said good morning, sir. And he turned to him and he took his hand and patted him. And he said, Ravi, Ravi, Ravi. He, re he remembered him and he said, your name is Ravi, right? So Ravi, Ravi, Ravi. And then he walked away. He said, three pats, 30 years. That's it. Loyalty. Barabar mil gai. Main incentive do, ye do, wo do, pep talk do. Nahi hota hai. Ek step hai. Solution. And Every time somebody I was talking to and I told her, she said, um, you know, my brother, she, 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 there, there's a family of five sisters and the youngest is a brother. He's in his 30s and all of them are in 50s and 60s. Hmm? So a lot of age gap. And he's in Delhi with his wife and the wife is also very young in her 20s. So they come, the ancestral property, everything went to the brother. So they have this ceremony for the parents and anniversary and everything. So he conducts these programs, this ceremony, and the whole the family members come. So in one of those occasions, the, the sister-in-law, the young one, comes up to the, all the sister-in-laws and says, Mommy ke saadiyan hai kabad mein, aapko chahiye to le lena. They're all lying there in that property, so you want to take. So all of them rush into the mother's room to take saris. She comes back the 26-year-old, let me call her Ina. She comes inside and she says, that aapne jo bhi mammi ko gift diye hai na, wohi lena. Whatever you've given gift to my mother-in-law, that is your mother, only those saris you take. They felt highly insulted. They said, ye mammi ka ghar hai, ye mammi ka room hai, mammi ki saadiya hai, humare saadiya wo. Who is she to come and talk? And what happens with among sisters is they'll keep calling each other and aggravating it. So itna badi baat ho gai ki that girl has changed the brother completely. It's come to that point. She has poisoned our brother. So that brother calls them, one of the sisters, and says, "Didi, thik laga ceremony. Reena ne bahut mehnat ki. Ab sabko achhe gifts mile na." What would she say? She said, oh, kya gives kya hai? Huh? Your wife has insulted us. 
We were not at all happy. We are all upset with her. He said, I can't make you happy in my whole life. And he banged the phone down. And he's not been talking, when I met her, he's not been talking to her, them, for the past two months. He's not, it doesn't even pick up the phones of any of the sisters. So see, she has she snatched him away from us. And he's cry she's crying, crying. I didn't know because they were not ready to listen to me. They were crying so much. Three sisters had come. All of them are crying. Then I said, Jab se mein Brahma Kumari mein aai hu na, I told. Main jhoot bolna sikli. They said, what sister? I said, main bohut jhoot bolti hu. I lie a lot. Why? Why should you? I said, it seems to work. What? How does it work? I said, let's say a couple come and they're fighting. Lot of conflicts. I tell them, aap dono alag alag time par aana. Aap subha aana, aap sham ko aana. Because both of you shout, shout together, I'm not understanding anything. Hmm? So separate time. So she comes in the morning and when he comes in the evening, for example, I tell him, your wife was talking something nice about you. Kuch bhi nahi boli hongi. Bolne mein kya chata? She's talking something nice about you. She said, you're so understanding, you're so this, you're hard working. And then he will hear through all that and then he'll say, Didi, actually, hamare beech bhi koi problem hai hi nahi. Achha, haa, kuch bhi nahi, chut chuti baate hai. Har khapal mein hota hai, man barabar hota hai. After a few weeks later, the, the girl calls me and says, Pata nahi, Didi, aapke saath baitne ke baad, yoh bohut change ho gai. Kuch nahi, mere saath baitne ki baat nahi. Mein joot boli. Abhi joot bolne mein kya jata? Toh she said, why are you telling me this? I said, when he called you, how was the, of the ceremony, Didi? Aapko joot bolo, bohut achha tha, kya wonderful gifts de. Both enjoy ke sab ke, par kya hai na, then you tell, put the masala. Bhi kya hua na, tumhari bivi ko itta samajh nahi hai, choti hai na, to samjha de. Bas ho ke. Ho ke na solution. Simple solution. Why do I magnify it, make it so big and I become the part of the problem and then now I want a solution? Nahi hota. Because there is no solution in each other, actually speaking. We usually do one exercise that, let us say this chair, I mean you can't move it, but let's say you are sitting on a chair which you can move. And you will do it down to your feet. Now do it, it can be done down to your feet. And you will put it down to your feet. And you will put it down to your feet. You are here in Gyan Sarovar, you are there till? 13th, right? 13th or 14th, fine? Like, you're thinking, Jab tak mein yaha hu, 14th, 15th tak hu, Mein ye chair chhodne wala nahi. Ye mera chair hai, Mein ko yahi baitna hai. This is where I'm going to sit. Then this is my chair, And I will take it with me. Okay? Soch mein kya jata, ha? Toh. Now can you move it, If you were to hold it like this, Can you move this chair outside? Can you? Impossible hai na? बिल्कुल इम्पॉसिबल है अब इसको बाहर लेकर जाना ही होगा तो आपको उठना है ना इस पर इससे उठना है तो फिर इसको उठा सकेंगे इस इंटर दैट्स द ओनली वे दैट यू कैन टेक दिस आउट सो कंसीडर दिस चेयर टू बी अ प्रॉब्लम अब उस पर बैठ गए तो आप ही प्रॉब्लम हो ना प्रॉब्लम है प्रॉब्लम है कब तक I've seen people who have not spoken about their problems and they've solved it. Somebody, I think, uh, just a few months ago, he call, she calls and says, you know, my husband is having an affair, this and that. I said, chup chup, ghar mein finish kar do. Don't include others. Finish it there. Thik ho jata hai. Thik ho jata hai. You find a way. You know, conversation, jo bhi karna hai, kar lo. Or kar. Bahar le kar jayenge, to I can't guarantee. I really can't. Mm. So the thing is, jitta kam socho, utta fast solution aata hai. Jada sochne se, you know they said, he's a very difficult person because you've been thinking too much about that person. So he's become a problem. Jada sochte, sochte, sochne se. That, you know, you, you, you are actually becoming a problem. I remember, um, 
long back when we were studying, there used to be this clinic run by a psychiatrist. So I used to go and volunteer there. So I, my work was only to, uh, you know, do take case studies and sit and talk to the patient sitting there and all. The doctor would tell, Jo bhi reception ke paas baithe, you go and talk to them. Just have conversation. And I remember when going and talking to one of the uh, patients or whatever, the client that he had, and he said, my problem is negative thinking. I was very naive then. Mm. I didn't have that kind of experience, nor the wisdom, nor the maturity. Mm. So I very happily, I thought I was a great advisor. <laughs> I told him, positive sochona. <laughs> you have negative thinking problem, think positive, what is there? So I went to a British library, it was nearby a library, and I referred to all these help, self-help books. So I wrote 20 points and I gave him. And I said, repeat it to yourself every day. So he seemed quite pleased and he took the paper and everything and all. And then after my vacation, I go back again, like, you know, during my college hours. And then I see him sitting there. I went up to him and said, what happened? Not practicing that list. He said, every day I'm practicing, madam. Hmm. But what you said, I don't believe it. I'm telling myself I'm full of all resources. I don't believe it. Na? All that matters is believing in it. And then you have solution. When I was coming to Gyansaro the first time with a group, it was an international conference and in the spirit of the 21st century. I remember that's a topic. So people from all over the world are coming for the conference. So Hamari a fertilizer company. Hai. HR head ko lekar aana tha. I don't know who he is, I've never seen him. So airport, hai, airport mein hi milna tha, and I was his guide. Ab main gai, airport mein, I don't know who it is actually. When we sat, and that his seat was just next to me. And unfortunately or fortunately for him, he doesn't like to come to Mount Abu. I came to know. Hmm. I asked him, how, you know, what are, your, what are your food habits and everything. I was asking for that, I can, he can have a comfortable stay. But he wasn't very keen. Hmm. He kept on reading his newspaper and not talking. So I thought, fine, you know, maybe some people need to be on their own and all that. So after a while he said, Madam, don't feel bad, sister. I said, well, what happened? I don't want to come to Abu, but Jabardasti, uh, they have sponsored me that I have to come for this conference. I said, okay, why you don't want to come? It's a very beautiful place. He said, uh, look, I don't mind, but I have a problem. What is that? He said, whenever I, I, I smoke, like I smoke like I smoke. Now, if you in that particular thing is written, don't smoke in our campus. You know, you're not supposed to smoke in this campus because we need to keep the sanctity here. So, aap aise rule bana diye. So, if I don't smoke, I get palpitations. I get perspiration. I get giddiness. What do I do? Oh my God, it sounds like heart attack only. If he doesn't smoke. So, as soon as we landed in Ahmedabad, I called uh, a senior sister in Mumbai. I said, Didi, ye bhai ko to heart attack aja inga smoke ne karenge to. Hmm. To Didi said, kya kare fir? Nau pata nahi Didi, abhi campus me to nahi kar sakte. But he is having lot of side effects, don't know what happened. So Didi said, usko bolo bahar ja ke kare fir. Hmm. Tell him. So I took permission from someone here and said, bahar jayenge. Then I asked, bhai sahab, aapko kap kap karna hai? Hmm. <laughs> so he said, after lunch, after dinner, after dinner, oh my god, he had a whole lot of list. Hmm. I said, after every meal, you just can't go on your own. I will be there so that I can tell the, our security brother to let you out. Okay? So, I will give isharat and you can come out when you're eating. Mm. So, every day, like breakfast time, I'll go and do that. And he's so happy. <laughs> and then he'll take one bag and come running. Come, come, chal sister. And, all. and I'll take him and I'll show him and I'll come back. This is happening for a whole day, that morning, afternoon, evening and everything. And then the next day, He's made friends from all different countries and he's eating with them and everything and all. I'll do Ishara and then he comes up to me, sister, you don't come. I said, what? You don't come. As soon as I see you, I'm remembering smoking. You <laughs> 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 
मैंने कहा अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है नो प्रॉब्लम आई वोट कम देन नो नो द होल फोर फाइव डेज ही वॉज हियर He didn't even ask me to, you know, to get permission to go out. Nothing. And then when we travel, we traveled. When we're coming, also we travel together in the in the cab. He stopped the car also two three times. Mm. So when we're going back, he never stopped. I said, "You brother, you are okay. No perspiration, no palpitation." Eh? He said, "Nothing, sister. I made up my mind. Why should I have a habit?" Which does not allow me to enjoy any environment. बार बार मेरे को क्यों जो भी environment में I'll enjoy no. This happened in 2000. I don't know when. He's never smoked after that. Never. He had been. He's not in the same company anyway. He's in a different company, but he's never. One thought. Solution is in one thought. जैसे मैं जैसे कहती हूँ कि चलो ठीक है ऐसा मुख से कहते हैं ठीक है कोई बात नहीं कोई वो मन में आए है ना आई हैड समन ऑन द फोन एंड ई सेड आई वॉन्ट टू लर्न मेडिटेशन सर किस लिए आई जस्ट आई वॉन्ट टू नो वाई आपको क्यों सीखना है मेडिटेशन एंड शी सेड कोई बात नहीं ये है ना सेंटेंस मन में बार बार आना है अपने आप आना है जबरदस्ती नहीं नेचुरली आना है कोई बात कोई बात इतना अच्छा है वही सोल्यूशन है ना कोई बात नहीं छोटी बात है होता है जैसे गर्ल लुक यूजली वेन पीपल आस मी सिस्टर देर इज नाइन मंथ्स गैप फॉर एंगेजमेंट आई ऑलवेज टाइम डोंट कीप सच लॉन्ग गैप सर जो वन और टू मंथ्स एंड देन गेट द मैरिड वाई सिक्स सेवन नो नो दे वॉन्ट टू नो इच अदर हाउ मच एवर यू नो आफ्टर मैरिज ओनली यूल हैव टू नो एक्चुअली सो आई सेट नो नो यू डोंट कीप सच अ गैप दिस वन गर्ल शी डिसाइड टू हैव नाइन मंथ्स गैप and that boy is in delhi she is in hyderabad he'll come every two saturdays of month he'll fly down to spend time with her and know her and everything so she is like in one place she tells me is called barista so she's sitting in that place and waiting for this boy he didn't turn up he was supposed to come from his wherever he's staying 45 minutes then she comes out and he comes and uh, parks his car and he sees her smiles and waves she took a stone and threw at him really she did not like that like that <laughs> she really and he you know ducked got into the car and drove away and he broke the engagement okay now here is a choice you can force him i asked her what happened maine thought ki baat kar rahi hu kya hua she said she is sitting inside and thinking this man has no respect for me before marriage itself she has, he has no respect now after marriage what will happen he doesn't even message he doesn't even tell me he's coming late what can but boy's phone got discharged he was stuck in the traffic hmm? but he she is thinking that so she thought now let me go out and stand so when she stand stood out he came so i said he came no then why did you throw a stone no sister the problem was he was smiling abhi muskurana nahi chahiye na Oh, I'm sorry. Like that, she sh- he should come. No, he's smiling. He's coming. So I threw. One thought, and one thought is benefit of doubt. I say to you, I use this word benefit of give a benefit of doubt for the people around you. You jan buch ke koi kenge no, I should go late. Let us suffer this disrespect. Who will think like this? Who will not think like this? So why am I allowing my mind? to take so many thoughts in that direction that it has to come into action in that way and in conversations and that boy turned out to be a very decent boy i told him don't tell anyone that she threw a stone ye ladki ki life hai please i called and told he didn't tell anybody till now he never told anybody i don't know but he ne- it never came out how do i see others or it all depends on how i see myself i'm very insecure then i'm very insecure with you i'm very uncertain about my future then i cannot trust what will happen to you in your future everything gets back to who i am and what i think about myself i happen to have um, somebody i don't i've never met him but he saw me in one lecture so he called me and said didi i'm going to send my wife and my daughter to you she's failed her my daughter has failed her 12th 
11th, 11th, sorry, 11th, miserably. But she was the third highest in school. When she passed out in 10th, what happened? Social media, I don't know what it is. Can you sit and talk to her? I said, yeah, my wife is bringing. The wife comes. She won't let me talk to the girl. She is only talking. My brother has been in the IIT, my hair has been cut, and she has been on the iPad. Continuously, she is crying, crying and talking. And I felt she, need, she needs counseling, meditation, all that. Hmm. But that girl has no expression and she is staring into space. And this mother is talking. And then, in between, she will say, um, maybe she wants to change her subject. Didi, pucho. I said, ask the girl's name, Ramya. Ramya, you want to change to sciences? You want to leave mathematics? No expression, like shrugging. Ask her, she wants to learn meditation, Didi. You want to learn meditation? Nothing, no conversation, I'm not able to connect to her also. And then one day, after two or three days, the father calls and says, I'm coming to drop her. My wife is occupied. I said, no problem. So he comes, he drops her, and then he says, can I brief you about her? Hmm? My wife must have briefed her. I said, a lot of briefing has taken place. All No, but I would like to say something. I said, please sit down. And he says, sister, I have, um, she was born 1990, hmm? October 10th, 9.20 a.m. I said, Achha. and that moment, Didi, my fortune got awakened. She's brought fortune in, into my life. A diamond hai didi. Diamond hai. Hmm? Ye soche gina karke dikhai ki. Bas polishing ke liye le karai I bought her to put. She will, she will make up her mind and she'll do it. She's a diamond. He's so happily, he stuck. And I said, I want to hear more. I want to hear more. And then I see Ramya. Her whole expression has changed. Hmm? Suddenly, she held on to her father's hand and pulled him. Hmm? And she started saying, Papa, I karke dikhayengi, Papa, I karke dikhayengi. That's all. That's all it takes. Kya dekhna hai? Diamond di dekho na? Woi dekhna hai. Itta ghante 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 kise ke baare mein sunane se koi fayda to hai nahi. Solution is, I have to see her as a diamond. Huh? The, you, where do you find diamonds? In the rough only, no? First, to have that understanding that I am a diamond. And what kind of a diamond are you? Anita, can you show the list, please? You tell me what kind of a diamond you are. Because that is where the solution begins. Kaha dikhayenge? Acha, there. Acha, okay. You're able to see it? Okay. Tell me what kind of a diamond you are. Are you an enthusiastic diamond? Are you an honest diamond? What kind? What is that? All these virtues are there within you, but there are this one specific quality that is predominantly existing in you. In every situation, everything, it has helped you. Recognize who you are, what kind of a diamond you are. There is a virtue, um, one particular one is detachment. Don't um, take it as something that you need to cut off from people or some. that's not a virtue. It's not clinging on to things, that, that kind of detachment we're talking about, yeah. Have you selected who you are? Okay, now. A small little exercise we will do. Now let us say um, I have a name. My, let's say my name is Shanti. And I have no peace in my life. It doesn't make sense, does it? Most of our names don't define us. Huh? So whatever you selected is you. That, that should be your name because that describes you. Right? So I would like you to reintroduce yourself. Like, let us say, like you are introducing like to each other, you're going to introduce, reintroduce yourself and say, hello, I'm enthusiasm. Hmm? 
whatever your virtue is. Hello, I'm enthusiasm. The other person would say, hello, I am, um, you know, appreciation. Oh, nice to meet you, appreciation. Nice to meet you, enthusiasm. Hmm? So this is how you meet each other, right? And, and for this exercise, you meet as many people as you can. You need to walk around. When we did, when we did this exercise in one company, right in front of me, this person came up and he said, uh, I am, you know, he said, I don't remember what it was, something like, I'm honesty. And he said, huh? I said, don't challenge him. Please don't. Uh, if you know him, don't challenge him, because that's who he is. He's telling you he's honesty, right? Let's respect each other, okay? Uh, another place, um, I had another experience where this person, he, his, his, his virtue was um, enthusiasm. He went up to someone and he's saying, enthusiasm, I'm, and he's not even listening to the other person. Uh, but here, listen to the other one and be happy to greet and meet each other. So for this exercise, you need to get up. You will get to meet a lot of people. Go ahead and meet as many people as you can. Anita, Anita, Anita. Okay. Thank you. Can all come back? I'm sure you all met quite a few. Mm. And I'm sure you would want to continue doing so. Mm. So. So did you all like the exercise? To have this awareness all the time. Hmm? Like if someone were to wake you up in the middle of the night hmm, and ask you, tell me the list of virtues that defines your family members, you should be able to say it like that, like that, like that. It should be that clear. Hmm? And if you have that awareness all the time, then what happens is even if their behavior is not according to what you like, you'll remember that they're actually this. They're actually this. Hmm. There's a very slight difference between compromising with a person. Hmm? Compromising is a problem actually. And understanding is a solution. Hmm. 
right? So compromise is very complicated, very quick, but it's very complicated. It takes, it can boil, it can keep on boiling inside and it will burst out, out sometime and people can't understand you at all. But when you understand, it takes a little energy, little time and one of these virtues you have to use to be able to understand someone or a situation. I'll give you an example. Um, we used to, uh, the, the center that I am in, it's on a hills, it's called Nagarjuna Hills. And very, uh, just adjacent to our center, there is this uh, um, management college called ICFI. They shifted to their campus a few years ago, but it was there at that time. One of the students walked in one day and he said that he's come from Nagpur and his roommate is from Delhi and he's the dirtiest boy in this whole world. He soaks his clothes and never washes it. Hmm? And comes to the class late wearing this boy's shirt. If you ask him, why are you wearing my shirt? He says, what are friends for? Learn to share. <laughs> hmm? He has chocolate wrappers everywhere. You know, it's dirty. This boy is spending a whole lot of time cleaning the room. He said, you know, mujhe saaf sutra, you know, kamra chahiye padne ke liye. You know, this boy is very dirty. And I've already paid for this um, place and I can't leave it also. So what do I do, sister? So I said, he, he wants a dirty room, he'll dirty it. You want a clean room, you clean it. What kind of solution is this? I said, look, you have to do what you have to do, but would you like to compromise or you want to understand? He said, what is the difference? How do I go about it? I said, look, this boy is dirty, careless, hmm? and uh, all sorts of weaknesses, what all. Does he have anything good in him at all? Kuch bhi achcha hi hai ki nahi is ladke mein? He thought for a while and said, Didi, ye achcha coffee banata hai. Mu coffee pasand hai tunga? I like coffee, achcha, take hai. Aur kuch? Finance subject mein, I'm little poor and he coaches me. I said, wow, that's very good. Anything else? Ghar se paise time par nahi aate, to he lends me and he does not ask it back. Wow. What else do you want? Hmm? Hmm? So, now clean the room. But ye nahi socho, ye ganda ladka hai, ganda ladka hai, nahi? Achcha coffee banata hai, hmm? finance mein coach karta hai, paise deta hai, wapas leta nahi hai. Aise, sochte, sochte, tum clean karo, isko kehte understanding. Bas aur kuch hai nahi isme. So he said, will it work? I said, it'll work like magic, you try. I don't know, I lost touch with him. Once in a while he'd call up and he'll, you know, festival mein wish karna bas itta itta. One day he called me and said, Didi, aaj mera birthday hai, I want to come and take blessings. I said, aaj hon abhi, itni nazdik hai na, unka college nahi didi. I'm in my, at my, I'm going to my home. I thought I'll, I'll take a shower and everything and I'll come. I said, take. He calls me again. In just a few minutes later, I said, kya hua? Didi, surprise hai, kya hua? Pura mera kamra neat hai. Neat hai? Very neat and clean and table ke upar card rakha hua hai. Uske upar likha hua hai ki this is my birthday gift to you, enjoy. His roommate has signed it. When you understand others change, you're a part of the solution. There was a program in uh, Bangalore, and, you know, I went just for a half a day. Airport ke paas hi ek hotel hai, wahi program tha. I remember the one who heads that, it, I think it was HPCL or some company, the one who heads that company, he asked a question. In a very funny note, you know, he's not a really serious one, but funnily, he said, Didi, kya karna hai? I have a habit of throwing wet towels on the bed. Hmm and opening cupboards and not closing it. Always opening cupboards. My wife eternally nags and eternally, she's after me all the time, it's become a problem. Anytime we sit, she'll say, aap aise karte ho, aise karte ho, you know, all that she'll complain. What do I do? How do I stop her not to nag? So somebody said, close the cupboards. <laughs> so he said, I'm not able to, how much ever I tell myself, I'm not able to. Ab iske solution kya hai? And I said, you know what you should do? Hmm? 
Whenever you get a time, some time, you, without any connection, without anything, just like random, you go to your wife and you say, Aap ne to me kya kar sakta tha? Aap ho to mere cupboards bande. Aap ho to mere towel dry ho raha hai. What would I do without you? And I don't know how to thank you that how many times I keep it open and you keep closing it. How much patience and tolerance you have. Can you do that to your wife? She will never complain. Never. Appreciate Karlo, na? What I'd like you all to do is to see that list. The list is still on? It's still there? Yeah. See the list and think about the problem which is nagging you, you know? There is a problem like a relationship, a work front, or anything past, whatever you have. If you think about which gun you will be able to do it, then the problem will not be a problem. Think about the problem. See that one particular virtue, that if you were to imbibe it, the problem is not a problem at all. Mm. Is it not conflicting with the compromise or something? There is a difference between tolerance and suppression. Now let us say, if, if I were to ask you, remember those times when you tolerated. You will only remember those times when you suppressed. Because when you have tolerated something, you won't even know because there is no pain in it. कई चीजें जैसे आप आप टॉलरेट कर लेते हो तो लगता है आप कैसे कर लिए आपको कोई बड़ी बात नहीं लगेगी बड़ी बात नहीं लगती है मन और टॉलरेंस से बड़ी बात लग रही है मन ये सप्रेशन है लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल इफ समवन इज सप्रेसिंग आपको सानुभूति होंगे लेकिन वो बेचारे यू नो लाइक दैट फीलिंग यू गेट कितना भुगत रहे कितना इनके साथ ऐसा हो रहा दैट फीलिंग यू गेट but if someone is tolerating, you feel इनके जैसा मैं क्यों नहीं हूँ? टच ही नहीं करते, कोई भी चीज़ टच ही नहीं होता उनको। Different समझ में आ रहा है। So what we do mostly is we suppress and think it is tolerance. It drains energy. Suppression is a compromise. So tolerance is the pain is not there. It's very natural. समझ होती है ना? That's why. So did you select that virtue? If you were to imbibe, it's not at all a problem. Yeah? So you have a list of solutions then. This is solution for daily life. Mm. Somebody was telling me, I always have a conflict with my colleague. Mm? Every meeting I have a conflict. Whatever I say, he has to say something to taunt me. I don't know what is, he's maybe jealous of me, I don't know. I'm going for a vacation. He said, what is the solution? I asked him. He said, I'm, I'm going for a vacation to Goa. I need a break. He went to Goa. He called me. Didi, koi thoughts dena na kaam karne ke liye mind ko. Maine ka ab Goa gaye kiyo? To enjoy or whatever. He's saying, yaha to me bas, I'm only remembering my colleague. Din raat. Problem kaan hai? Yaan hai na? Yaan hai. Haan. So, the solution is, I told him, whenever you go to a meeting, you think, what do I get from this? Which one do I get from this? Today, I'm going to take a little bit of patience. Maybe I will take a little bit of courage to face him. What do I get from this? So that I don't think the way that I've always been thinking. If I think the way I always thought, I will always get what I've always done. कुछ नया तो मिलने वाला नहीं है, isn't it? So did you find what you need to imbibe, right? Detachment. 
Detachment is that kind of virtue where there are things that you want it done, there are things that it should be in the way that it has to be, that you want, and it is not happening. But you don't sit down and sit down and say, I don't want to do it, 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 I don't want to do it. Once and once, you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it for 20 years ago. थोड़ा डिटैचमेंट चाहिए। At the same time to have that awareness that I am these qualities, not just achievement है कि कोई मेरे को opinion है कि कोई क्या मेरे बारे में सोचते, उससे थोड़ा डिटैच होके मैं ये हूँ ना, this is who I am। ये जो लोग सोचेंगे करेंगे, how much am I able to prove to anybody anything? This is what I am, this amount of security, if I have that is called self respect. Self respect से detachment आता है नहीं तो नहीं आता। I want to prove myself, I want to prove myself continuously, and then what happens? It drains the energy, you know? Clinging on, they say, हाँ जी। Understanding is the foundation of all this. In the sense, you can understand with appreciation, you can understand with honesty. Different. All the virtues, there is understanding in it. But it, it depends upon the situation. Kai situation may, like, you know, I'm very enthusiastic. You can't be enthusiastic when someone dies. You have to be peaceful. Better or... Nee, nee, I'm very cheerful. I want, I want to make everyone laugh. Nee, wo jaga nahi hai. Kisi ko hasa ne ke liye. Are you a say? Ego is a self-exaggerated concept that I am this, I am that. In the opposite of it, self-respect is not inferiority. Inferiority is putting myself down. Something is wrong with me, I am very unlucky, nothing good happens to me. Ego is like, you know, I am the greatest and you can think you are the greatest, but you think I am greater than others. These are two extremities. In dono me, the more ego you have, that shows if you're egoistic outside, that means you're inferior inside. If you're inferior outside, that means you're ego inside. How do we know that? Because both of them have one weakness, common weakness, sensitivity. Both sensitive hote hai, dono. Ye dono ka independent between hai self-respect. I know my strengths, I know my weaknesses. I'm not ignorant about my weaknesses. I know who I am. Mujhe pata hai. Isliye I don't give in to jealousy because I know what my capacity is. So that is self-respect. Right in between. Like just mene kaha na diamond dekho apne aapko. Diamond. Okay. So the understanding is that I have to stabilize myself in this virtues. What am I? Kate Jesi Smriti. Smriti means awareness. Vesi mankistiti. What you tell yourself who you are, the kind of mankistiti. Jesi mankistiti, vesi vritti, the attitude you form. Jesi vritti, vesi drishti, the way you see the world. It determines how you see the world. Or jaisi drishti hai, vaisi kriti, the kind of actions you perform. Or jaisi kriti hai, vaisi srishti hai, that is the kind of world that you make. To jaisi srishti hai, phir vaisi smriti, it goes back to that. It's a cycle. You start with that awareness that I am peace. It's a good beginning, no? I remember in Hyderabad, I was driving the car and that, that in that turn you have to drive slow, right? So I drove slow and there was a hospital so you're supposed to go more slow. One car hit me, he must be going fast. He hit me from behind. And I was thinking, don't know how many dents I have from behind or not, but when I saw from the rear view, his car has totally got crushed because I'm going slow and he hit me. I don't know what the reason was, but it 
totally got crushed. And so I thought, now I'll take the car letter in the front and, you know, park it and see what happened to this car. Before I could even do anything, that person drove past me, thinking that I'm going away, and parked right in front of me, not letting me go any further. And he got out of the car. You know how it is, that road rage kind of a thing? He got out of the car. I have never heard such abuses in my whole life. And he's abusing and he's coming towards me. So I, I, the sister next to me, we just two sisters were driving down. So I turned to the sister and said, Achana, kya karna? what's our protocol? Kya karna hota hai? Log to utar ke baat karte na? To hum bhi baat karna. He said, she said, lock the car. Don't even, you know, open it. I said, really? Yeah, don't. Because look at this man, how he is coming. And he was, he's looking like he's going to come and hit me. He was that angry, naturally, you know, car is so sabotaged. So he's coming, and as he is nearing and nearing, and then he sees there is that woman driver. He did like this and he went away. <laughs> and what happened? I thought I'm going to have a conversation, I'm going to convince him and what not. And he just drove away. I mean, at least for repair he can take, no? Whatever, you know, we'll do. I think, you know, I, I started thinking, what would be the thing that he drove away? Okay, he must have woman driver, forget it, or, or, from childhood he must have been trained, you should not, you know, hit women. Hmm? You cannot hit women, that is wrong. And if you hit women, others will come and hit you on the road anyway. So, don't hit, something like that. So, what you have practiced in your life, in the peak of anger also, you will get reminded. Hmm. Kitna apne apne under practice kya? I am peace, I am peace, I am peace. Problem? Peace. Nothing, no practice. Situation? Aap bolo, I am peace, I am peace. Kuch nahi. I'll fall into pieces. Nahi aata hai. It's like going for a shopping with no money. Oh, pathetic is that? Hmm? Thoda jamma karo. Spiritual bank me thoda jamma karo and go and face situations. That is a solution. Under bank, gum back, emotion, you know, spiritual bankruptcy hai, or bar situations ko face karte jar. It's very troublesome then. Then the mind gets affected, you know. It gets affected. It takes ages to bring it back again. Bohot time lagta hai. Itte thought chalte, chalte, chalte rehenge. Main apne aap ko prepare kar. Like how you save in banks, na? Like rakte hai na? कोई भी वेला आती है तो मैं यूज करूं तो लाइक सेम वे यू जमा करना जमा कैसे करते स्मृति से मैं ये हूं कब कब करना है इट्स नॉट लाइक यू टेक अ चंक्स ऑफ टाइम एंड गो सिट ऑन हिमालयस नो चलते फिरते खाते पीते यू रिमाइंडिंग योरसेल्फ यहां दिस इज द बेस्ट टाइम फॉर यू टू स्टार्ट एज यू आर वॉकिंग अराउंड मीटिंग पीपल टॉक यू रिमाइंडिंग योरसेल्फ आई एम पीस आई एम लव आई एम दिस गॉड्स हैंड ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन इज ओवर मी यू टू रिमाइंड व्हेन देयर आर नो प्रॉब्लम्स so, when the situation comes, you know what to think, you know what to do. This is uh, in Abu, I met this American lady. She, she's been with Brahma Kumaris for three years when I met her in 2017. She was sharing an experience of hers. She said she's been practicing for three, four years now with meditation. And every day she is doing, she has no problem in life. No problem. Son is gone to call university. He stays in university campus. Husband is, is a traveling, you know, he's an emeritus professor. He travels a lot. So she's, most of the time she's alone. So she has this early morning. We all have early morning meditation. I think they must have told you at four o'clock in the morning. And so uh, she would wake up in the morning and then go to class in the nearby center and all. So what happened? One night she's sleeping and they have alarm system and everything, you know, so she's sleeping. And usually she would wake up in the night sometime to see the clock and say, is it four yet? That day she woke up and she said, it was still two o'clock. She said, oh, I've got two more hours to sleep, so I'll go back to sleep. And then she sees there is a man at the end of the bed, standing. Not her husband, not her son, some strange man. Usually what do you do when you see a stranger in the middle of the night in your house when nobody's there? What would you do? Scream, no? 
scream, shout, run, get a phone, whatever. She looked at him and she said, how did you come inside? I locked everything downstairs. She had a conversation with the chore. Mm. Can you imagine that? How did you come up? And this man is taken aback because he expects fear and he will respond with anger. That's what usually happens. He will try to control her or whatever. He's taken aback that this woman is talking to him like his family members at home. Mm. So then he said, um, he said, I just came up. So, what do you want? Um, then he didn't know what, I'm hungry, he said. So she said, go down and in the fridge I have pumpkin pie, have it. So he went down, I think he is also confused. <laughs> he just moved out of the room and then she locked the door and called 911. And by the time the police came, he was gone. And the policeman told her, how did you have a conversation? That is amazing. What presence of mind, what wonderful, this kind of a preparedness is important and all that. He was very appreciative of her. Hmm. She said, because I'm meditating, I think I got the right thought at the right time. You don't try to say. That is solution for daily life. I get the right thought at the right time. I was in the airport, when you travel, you learn a lot. Sitting in the airport, and I have this um, lady, she, she must be in her late 60s, sitting next to me, and she had this elongated bag, little, and very thick. And I was thinking, where will she place it in the overhead locker? How, did she, how will she fit it in? I'm thinking. Hmm. Just then, a young boy, must be in his uh, late teens, he runs so fast that he pushes that bag to that side. She got up, she ran up to that, and that boy standing there thinking, whose bag is this? He, she goes up and she says, Dikhaine padta hai kya tumko? she said. And he said, don't you know where to keep your bag? That boy is also very rude, very rude. Don't know where to keep it. And I thought, now what's going to happen? I went to help her with the bag. I thought, now this woman will also say something. She's very wise. She immediately, she said, there was no place there, sweetie. She called him sweetie. Huh? There is no place there, sweetie. And he says, it's okay, Auntie G. <laughs> and he puts it back there and goes. Right time. And the time is to give respect. He is younger than I. He, is, he doesn't know what he is doing. No, respect. You give me respect, I will give you respect. Exchange. I was in the center and there's this man walked in and he's a salesman selling one rupee pens. And he said, I'll give you, uh, you know, this one rupee pen, sister, please buy it. I said, one rupee pens don't work, I don't want it, please, sorry. He left. Another five minutes later, he came back again. I said, I told you I don't want. He said, no, sister, I've just read that board outside. Brahma Kumari's free meditation, a meditation sikhate. So yes, please sit down. I will explain. So I told him about meditation and what I teach. And kitte log sunte didi. Arey so log bhi sun sakte. Acha. To ab ek ganta sunenge. Maine kaha three ganta bhi suna sakte. To he said, ab jo bhi sunate, fir wo sab yad kaise rakte ho log? Maine likhte hai na. Acha. One rupee pen didi. Ab le. Main le li. I am used to being listened to, huh? right? He fulfilled my need and I fulfilled his need. I said, solution. I respect Easy, simple. I have 30 variety food. Why are you asking for water? Pyaas lagi, I don't want to drink water before. I don't want to drink water before. Eat it before. What's the joy? To be able to give what a person requires. Someone wants peace. Don't give love. 
फ्रस्ट्रेटेड हो जाएंगे मेरे को शांति में छोड़ दो नहीं नहीं खाओ ना खाओ खाओ पियो पियो सो जा नहीं नहीं मेरे को छोड़ दो ना मेरे को मेरे हाल पे छोड़ दो नहीं नहीं छोड़ना है वॉट डज अ पर्सन टू बी एब वी यूज दिस वर्ड इन स्पिरिचुअल टर्म फील द पल्स फील द पल्स कोई आते हैं सेंटर पे यू नो मोस्ट टाइम्स आई आई डोंट टेल नॉलेज एट ऑल उनको सुनना ही नहीं है पता पड़ रहा है उनको सुनना नहीं है उनको सुनाना है उनको कुछ समबडी वॉज टेलिंग माई सिस्टर आई एम वेरी अपसेट विथ माई हस्बैंड आई हैव प्रॉब्लम विथ माई बॉस आई सेट यू सेट यू हैव प्रॉब्लम विथ योर बॉस वाई यू हैव प्रॉब नाउ यू 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 आर डिस्टर्ब विथ योर हस्बैंड शी सेट आई टेल यू आई एम कमिंग होम एंड आई एम शेयरिंग विथ माई हस्बैंड माई बॉस इज यू नो ही इज अ टेरेबल पर्सन ही इज़ वेरी डिसरेस्पेक्टफुल एंड एवरी थिंग एंड माई हस्बैंड ही इज टेलिंग मी छोड़ दो ना जॉब तुमसे नहीं होगा तुमसे नहीं होगा ऐसे ही रहते बॉस सब छोड़ दे तो ऐसा नहीं होता तो क्यों जॉब कर रही है आई एम सो अपसेट विथ हिम बिकॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट एडवाइस आई वॉन्ट समन टू लिसन टू मी दैट्स इट सुन लो ना मैं कैसे भी मैनेज कर ले मैं मैनेज कर रही हूँ ना बॉस से मैं कर लेती तुम सुनो ना थोड़ा मेरे को शांति हो आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर बिफोर लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव यू नो रेप्यूटर ऑफ एडवाइजेस चलो तुम कुछ बोलो तो मैं एडवाइस दू नहीं चाहिए तुम्हारे एडवाइस I know what is right and wrong. Hmm? To to have that clarity, where to speak, where not to speak, where to listen, and where not to listen. ये clarity आ जाए. It all starts from that one point, smriti. The awareness. What is it that you are training yourself with? What are you telling yourself again? मुझे नहीं इस चीजों में नहीं जाना. इस चीज में नहीं जाना. कोई जरूरत ही नहीं है. क्यों मैं टाइम इसमें बार बार मैं अपने आप को अवेयरनेस तो वो आप बन जाएंगे दिस वन ट्वेंटी ईयर ओल्ड आई मेट इन टू थाउजेंड टू आई हैव नेवर मेट अ बॉय लाइक दैट अ ट्वेंटी ईयर ओल्ड सच मैनर्ड और एकदम लाइक अ जेंटल मैन लाइक द वे ही स्पीक द वे इज इज द वे इज एंड हिज ओन सिस्टर हु सिक्सटीन रोल इज प्लॉपिंग अर्सल्फ ऑन द यू नो द काउच एंड शी इज लाइक एनी सिक्सटीन रोल बट दिस बॉय इज सो मैनरफुल I asked him how you have so much manners and such kind of royalty and everything how he said didi when i was 8 years old i went to my you know my grandfather's house my grandfather is no more but his photo is there right in the front room like a rai bahadur and in with that sword and everything one photo is there and i asked my grandmother and she said we have royal blood hmm and then i thought i have royal blood i am not ordinary i can't speak like a normal people i can't behave like normal people that's all till now i never behave like anybody because royal blood is there ek awareness se dekho kya ho gaya ha huh? 8 saal ki umar mein just that awareness you have to i am like ordinary then i am ordinary like anybody else I am not like everybody. I she is arguing with me. I lost her. Why? I am not like her. What I am telling myself is, I am like everybody. Then I will be able like everybody. Some somebody was um, talking to me the other day, and she was saying, I I have a problem if anybody lies. If anybody, you know, lies, then I get angry. Or else I don't get angry. Mm. I said, telling lies is wrong. Getting angry is also wrong. Equally wrong. Now, in this, how are you different? You are different, so you are not the same. Control, you are not controlling your own. You are not controlling your own. Now, without both of control, it is chaos only, na? I was meeting one of our sisters down in Shantivan, and uh, our dadi Gulzar, you know. she um dadi was one of our administrative heads from 2020 and uh, she was known for her silence and her purity so i remember we had an experience and i'll share this and i'll end it um we had a conference in hyderabad and um, there was this man um, he owns this property called so ramoji film city yeah and uh, so he has a huge property where he has something like disney world is made but it is not really in that level but people go it's like a sightseeing place 
and there's a, there is a five-star hotel and all. This particular conference was in this hotel, and we had to coordinate with this Ramojirao secretary. And the, his secretary was so busy, so busy and stressed, that when we gave the agenda to him, he took it and he said, what is all this? And he did and threw it and said, why are you giving me all this and all? He was so upset and, you know, very, because the chief minister was coming, I think he got very um, stressed. So he threw the paper and everything and he shouted and he went inside. So, hamara kam to nahi hua. So anyway, we came out and one of the, you know, volunteers who was helping us, she went up to Dadi Gulzar who was upstairs and shared, you know, oh, bhai ko gusaya na, didiyong ke upar phek, he didn't throw it on us. He did not. He was frustrated in himself and as a fake. But he's telling, oh, didiyong ke upar so, Dadi, she said, Vistar me nahi jao. Don't go into expansion. Matlab wo bhai ko gussa aya. Bas. Now, no more. What, what can we do about it? Wo gussa aya, to kya karna hai humko? Kuch nahi. Gussa aya, bas. And then the whole program was over and everything. It went off very well. The secretary was also very nice. He organized everything. All, everything fine. And the evening, Dadi called us, myself and Sister Deepa, and everybody, and said, Wo bhai aya tha, Dadi said. Kon sa bhai, we were thinking, kon sa bhai aunga? Then we remembered this secretary. Aake maafi maang ke He went to Dadi and said, sorry. Hmm. Naka, wonderful hai. To, and then, Dadi added, to aap unke behne ho na? Haan, unke behne hai. Unko maaf kiya? Humne ka, haan, Dadi. To, Dadi said, aise maaf karna behne, जब वो आपको देखेंगे तो उनको लगना चाहिए कि आपको याद ही नहीं है समझ में हम बस बोले कि हम माफ करें नहीं उनको लगना चाहिए कि आपको याद ही नहीं है वो इंसिडेंट ऐसा होना चाहिए दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ वाइब्स दैट यू सेंड अक्रॉस फ्रॉम यू दैट इज अ सॉल्यूशन एंड इट स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम हियर इट ऑल स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम हियर it doesn't start from behavior. I can behave very well with you, but I'm cursing you in from inside. Hai na? So the whole understanding is a solution for daily life is to get back, step back, right within, and go back to what you are. This is who you are. You don't, you, 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 you don't learn it. This is who you are. Hmm, right? But this doesn't happen in a jiffy. It happens step after step. I learned with an anecdote I read somewhere. It's not real, it's an anecdote. So it seems one lady went up to a magician and told the magician, can you ask the magician, can you make a magic potion for me? So that if my husband were to drink it, he should feel only love because he's a very angry person. So she, he said, I'll make a potion, but I need a whisker of a lion. अरे मैं कहाँ से लेकर आऊँ? अब कहाँ से तो भी लेकर आओ बेन पर विस्कर ऑफ़ अ लाइन। It seems in the outskirts of a jungle there is a lion which comes and drinks water. So she went and waited and waited. A real lion came and drank water and went. So every day she would go and stand and watch the lion and come back. But every day she would take two steps forward, two steps forward. And after a while she was very close to the lion. एकदम नज़दीक आ गए। and she tiptoed, after six months, she tiptoed towards a lion and she plucked the whisker. The lion said nothing, take, take. Hmm? She took the whisker, gave it to the magician and said, now make the magic potion. Usne baut achche tar examine kiya. Bula, ye toh sher ka hi mooch hai, toh sher ka hi toh hai. Toh he said, chhe mene mene mehnat karke le kar hai. That man just threw it in the air. She started crying. So, I have so much effort and you have all this. He said, Madam, if you could tame a wild animal in six months, what is your husband? Nothing. Two steps at a time. Two steps at a time. We'll just have a, just a few minutes of silence before we end. I'd like you all to sit back. And what we're going to do, is bring in front of us whatever situations, whatever people you're dealing with, which you find it difficult to manage, and we're going to send the right kind of thoughts towards it. Shall we try that? Hmm? Okay, sit back. <clears throat>
relax, put all the weight on your feet, don't try too hard to think in that way. Just let your mind go with the thoughts that I give you. Silently and gently remind yourself that this is my time to talk to myself. This is my time. This is my moment. And nothing can disturb me. I step back from whatever that is happening around me and I take a little journey within myself. I become aware of myself to be a point of a diamond, a living diamond behind my eyes. I'm made of love, peace, happiness, purity, honesty. These are my original qualities. I'm divine. and have pure and true intentions towards everyone. I mean good and I want good things to happen for everyone. I expand my heart and embrace my little world. I forgive those I have to forgive and I'm grateful to those I'm grateful to. And in this moment, I choose to send good wishes to each one of my family members and even to those who are difficult. I wish them well I wish them patience, I wish them strength and most of all I wish them to be under the canopy of God's protection. I see each one of them as diamonds, valuable, priceless, with their own specific qualities and these wishes from my heart will reach them. And everything's going to be all right. Because it's all starting this holy space within me, this sacred space within me that purifies everything. I touch everything with my pure intention. I stay in this awareness that I am an embodiment of solutions and I have a treasure of all virtues and I have deep love and respect for everyone. I am a giver and I'll continue to give. Om Shanti.
Thank you so much, Radhika Kavan. And I'm sure you're going to take up little, little, simple, simple ideas and uh, use them in a practical way. And I'm sure you'll have a lot of wonderful miracles happening in your life. So thank you. You have your break. And you can come back quickly because Shivani Ben is already with us. And uh, you can take your break and come back. And we will join, see you soon. Thank you.